So it sounds like um, not only did you find individuals like Aaron's friend Maggie who mm-hmm. really found their passion and, and decided to make a, a, an immediate change for themselves and for others, but Aaron, you seem to have followed suit, uh, that you felt that this was the right thing of following your inspiration mm-hmm. and your passions and dreams, and even um, Gail to create the, the film without funding is also really following that passion um, and following what just feels right. Why do you think it was important, or what do you think was around all of this, that, um, you know, documentary and ordinary people, just like yourself, who are following their dreams and passions and and ambitions, what were you hoping Mm -hmm. to share by creating this? Well, you know, to be honest, I mean, you know, I was hoping to inspire others, you know, um, because I believe that all those small acts add add up to um, a better place. But as far as, um, you know, uh, acting on the idea, I mean, it was just that. It was, you know, there's some ideas you get that you just can't let go of, and it's almost like um, the ones that you don't question, they become kind of their own driving force. And this and it doesn't happen often, but when it does, you know, I've kind of um, learned to take note of those things and follow those because those have always been the most rewarding things that I, that have come into my life. You know, so I've been fortunate that I've um, acknowledged those ideas that just don't go away. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm yeah. just kind of, you know. Stupidly naive still. <laughs> Brilliantly naive. <laughs> was there something you were going to add to that, Erin? Yeah, well, like I said, yeah, there was some feeling that I got that I felt like I needed to do that, but it was um, really, I guess, going into it, at least for me, it was coming from a more you know, self-interested position, but then at the end... See, after meeting all of our subjects and going through the experience and realizing what an impact it could have, it was such a um, a wonderful thing to realize that I wanted to do this for um, the goal to have other people learn about these uh, these subjects and their amazing stories and to be inspired by them and also hopefully inspired to contribute to their cause as well. Um, And really the main uh, uh, message, I guess, is that, you know, each person can do something to make a difference. It doesn't have to be a grand gesture or moving to another country and building an orphanage. Um, It can be something small that's just in their community, but um, they really can affect other people's lives in a positive way. So it was showing that... um, there were all different kinds of people who were doing things that were affecting others positively, um, and hopefully they would be inspired to do the same. I was looking for an adventure. I was looking to travel. That's how I got my beginnings as a uh, as a photographer, uh, or before I became a photographer. So I was looking to take another uh, road trip, but I needed to do it with a purpose. I didn't just want to travel for the sake of travel. I wanted to travel to work on something a little more meaningful. There was a, a young woman in our town, Maggie Doyne, who had, um, had gotten a lot of local press because she had done an extraordinary thing as a young person. She had decided not to go off to college like most of the kids were doing. Um, she graduated high school with my daughter. She took a gap year. She decided to, to travel. She went to Nepal, and what she did was she wired home for her um, babysitting money that she had saved up over the years and uh, she got the money she built a children's home and it was incredibly inspirational to me what one person could do that could affect so many lives I just knew that there were thousands of people like Maggie all over the world so I wanted to do a film to to shine a little spotlight on those people in the hopes that it would motivate others, inspire others to what they could do. Opening our eyes really implies what we're hoping to do, which is to open the eyes of other people, of the audience, whoever might see it, um, the general public, uh, to not only to what things people are doing all around the world, you know, that there are these people, amazing people that exist, 
um, and doing incredible things, but also to the fact that they too can do things and they shouldn't be afraid to, you know, um, follow their dreams or do things that, you know, get past those excuses and those obstacles and that um, you really can make a difference in some way.